Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is just a preview. The complete version will be uploaded on my Patreon, that is Tipe. It's an European Patreon, thanks to which I can afford all these amazing artists and I can upload four videos per week. So really, thank you very much for supporting my channel. See you next video. Bye! <sighs> can go away. Yeah, you know he's my favorite to deal with, don't you? <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Tell the boss? You know he will support me. I'm the only one who can get that guy to confess. You won't only waste our time. And why do you love seeing your frustration? I admit that I'd much rather get started immediately. That will be much more fun indeed. No, move guard. Get out of my way. That prisoner is mine. There we go again. You know, I've come up with a theory. You're so much into pity crime because of your childhood. I think when you were young, they never spanked you as much as you needed. Until one day, you finally got what you deserved. And you like it so much then. That you tried getting in trouble as much as possible just so you could get spanked again. Over and over and over. In other words, that single spanking was so good for you that it alone turned you into a very, very naughty boy. A hopeless pet criminal that gets in trouble and gets caught on purpose so that you may be spunked. Admit it. <sighs> it must be like this. You like getting punished. And you like it so much that you try to repeat the experience you had the last time with me every time you can. Well, anyway, that's just my theory. One that has a very good base in the fact that every time I measure your punishment, you smear it. <sighs> Stop there right now. I will not tolerate any more smart answers from you. You're getting a little bit too cocky for my taste. That's not how I like my prisoners. I like them truthful, straight to the point. And as much as I enjoy interrogating you, I must say that my boss is getting a, a little Annoyed by how long it takes me to get you to confess every time. Yeah. <sighs> this is a waste of time for us. Or at least for him. You see, I'm actually torn because I can't make up my mind about what I want from you. Do I just want you to spill the beans so I can get back to work? Or do I want to have a little harmless fun with you first? Yeah, that's true. It's a tragedy that I must choose between duty and pleasure, isn't it? 
Come on. I want to show my boss that I can be a good cop if I really put my mind to it. Not like he expects me to ever change, to be honest, but I'm really trying hard to change and become less harsh to you guys. I've heard a lot of rumors about the need for us cops to separate works and our personal taste. I don't know I get a bonus out if this is if I get you to confess by tonight. Let's be honest and straight to the point. I know you didn't do it. You're just taking the blame for someone else, aren't you? Someone who's paying you to do so. Or someone you care about. Or maybe... You're just doing it because you knew I'd come to get you. You haven't confessed yet because you know you're lying. And you'd get out of here scot-free if you only decided to confess. Come on. You know you didn't steal anything this time. You're only playing me for a fool because you want to have fun. For every minute we spend here doing nothing, it gets harder to catch the actual culprit. Seriously now, what are you covering up for? What did he or she promise you in return? Where can we find them? Mm. Look, you think you're up Oh, guy, you're making up this story so that you'll both do a favor to this person and get your personal spanking for me. I'm not sure which one you value more, to be honest. Even though I can guess. Oh. <laughs> Getting talkative all of a sudden, are we? And yet... You're still using this tiresome excuse. Look, I just know it couldn't have been you. I have proof of that. Well, let's just say that I pulled a few strings and someone got me in contact with a friend of yours whose words has been out drinking with you at your home all the night. And today... You do look pretty hungover. I can't believe you could steal from a jeweler while you were drunk. <sighs> I see you're frowning now. Come on. Your friend certainly didn't mean to ruin you. If anything, he thought it would help you by keeping you out of jail. That's how I know you don't have anything to do with this theft in particular. But you seriously know how you're handling the police with your stubbornness. Just confess. We planted evidence of your involvement in the theft. We found your hair in the vault. So we can't just let you go because of a witness. We need your confession. Oh well, my boss would very happily just let you rot in jail. And it's not like you don't deserve some punishment. But I managed to convince him that you're trying to cover up for someone else. I need you to tell me who it is. Otherwise, you're going to be thrown into the deepest hole of a stinking prison for years. Yes, I know it's not your first time there, but have you ever been there for anything more than a bare brawl? 
year pass much slower than weeks, let me tell you. And I'd make sure you go to a prison where nobody knows you. Yes, you will have no protection, you naughty boy. You'd be totally exposed to the other inmates. You don't want that, do you? You want nothing other than your solitary cell. It's a lady from the Camarable who would pounce on you without a second thought. <sighs> this cell, where I'd come to give you the spanking you deserve for being so naughty. Hmm. I see. You're still undecided, but you're about to buckle. <laughs> you can't resist me for long. I will make sure of it. First of all, think about our past. You loved the time we spent together, didn't you? Oh, yes, you did. There's no denying it. I still remember what you told me the last night. I am almost sorry our time is running out, you know. I've been punished a lot of times, but you really turned the punishment into an art. And I know how much I'm going to miss you. Do you still think that, then? Or did you someone forget me because of some languid little girl who can't even hold a whip straight? Remember what you had the last time. You may just get another taste of it. But you need to confess what you've done. I want you to do so. You want to be punished by me and nobody else. Oh, good God. Tell me all about it. Who is she? Where did you meet her? How did she convince you to do this for her? What did she promise you? Hmm. Go on. tell me all about it, just like this. Hmm. All right, you're doing well, you're doing so very well, don't stop now. All right, then, now for the most important question of all, where is she hiding? Where can we find her? Mm. All right, I will tell everything you told me. Don't doubt it, we can't bust her today. You shall be glad. For once, you have managed to actually be good and useful to me. I want to show it very soon, but I'm really happy with how things have turned out today. Since you've been good, you might just get a reward. You're not going to jail this time, then. But even then, there's another thing to consider, isn't there? Yes. You have also been very, very bad today. You lied to us. You lied to me. Only to cover up for this girl. 
You men have such a weak mind. Your willpower is less than zero. You deserve to be pushed around by those like me who can easily dominate you. And alas, since you've been so bad, I have no choice.